In these problems, we are dealing with the order of operations, including things like parentheses and exponents. Uh, maybe you already know that multiplication and division have to become before addition and subtraction when you're applying the order of operations. Well, this handy acronym, PEMDAS, adds in the parentheses, that's what the P stands for, and the exponents. So always do what's inside the parentheses first, then the exponents, then the multiplication and division, and then the addition and the subtraction. Let's see how that goes with a couple of example problems here. So in this first one, I'm going to resolve what's inside the parentheses first. So inside this set of parentheses, I have 3 times 2. Well, that's 6. I'm going to leave that 6 in parentheses for the time being. We'll put that negative sign there, the second power there. And then inside this set of parentheses, we have 2 minus 3. That's a negative 1. And then we have to the third power. So we did the P in PEMDAS, we did parentheses. Next, we need to do exponents. So 6 to the second power, I don't worry about this minus sign out here, it's not inside the parentheses, so I just leave that. 6 to the second power is 36. Then I have minus, and here the negative sign is inside the parentheses, so since this is an odd power, that negative sign is going to stay. And then 1 to the third power, well that's 1 times 1 times 1, or just 1. So we have negative 36 minus a negative 1. When I have two negative signs in a row, they become a plus sign. So negative 36 plus 1, that's negative 35. And that's our answer on that one. Let's look at one more here, maybe a little trickier. Here we've got a big fraction. So we've got, wow, negative 3 minus uh, negative 2 squared plus 3 squared over negative 3 plus 5 squared. How do you approach this? Well, use PEMDAS. So the first thing is to resolve what's inside parentheses. I've got this set of parentheses on top, and it's just a negative 2 inside. There's nothing to do with that, so nothing to resolve. I'll just leave that. On the bottom here, I've got negative 3 plus 5. Well, that's just 2, so I'm going to actually replace that with 2, and then put the, the exponent back on there. All right, so we resolved the parentheses. Let's go after exponents next. So here on top, we have, well, let me rewrite it. We've got negative 3 and then minus, and then inside the parentheses, negative 2 squared. Because this is an even power, the, this uh, is going to end up positive. So, and 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, so this is a positive 4. Then we have plus 3 squared. Well, that's 9. And then on the bottom, 2 squared, that's 4. All right, we've dealt with the parentheses and the exponents. Looks like all we really have to do here is some addition and subtraction. We've got negative 3 minus 4. That would be negative 7 plus 9. That would be 2 on the top. And then we've got 4 on the bottom. And we can simplify 2 fourths to 1 half. And that is our answer there. So that's a little bit of work with the order of operations.